Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. As the title suggests, we're gonna unbox and test the Luft Lighter X. Now I've wanted to play with one of these for a while, so they've sent me one to have a little experiment with, so let's get into it. Okay, so I've taken it out of all of its sort of outer shell travel wrapping, um, but it's a, a nice looking bit of packaging there. Um, let's take this sleeve off. Inside we've got uh, an inch, an instruction manual I think we've got we've got the operators manual and a quick start guide and warning and this is it this is how it comes so it's a big old beast and in a nutshell all it is it's a base station uh, which is quite tidy because this is a retractable cable that sort of winds in like that, much like an extension cable. That's the, the base cable there. Then this is the battery, which is a, a weighty little number. That sits in there to charge. And uh, the actual device itself is, uh, is here. And it's, uh, it's, it's a lot lighter than I thought it would be, but obviously that battery does have some weight. And that just clicks into place like that and it's ready to go. Okay, so what I've got is some uh, normal charcoal that I use there, restaurant grade, and it's all set up waiting to go. No fire lighters uh, other than this little beauty. So let's turn it on. There's a little trigger switch this side, so you hold that and it powers on. And then you hit the ignition. Okay, so let's put that in here. We'll just wait and see what happens now. So while we're waiting, I'm gonna read you the Luft story. Some people love to line dance or play baseball on the weekend, but not Richard Luft. Richard loves outdoor life in particular. He likes to show off his grilling skills to his family and friends, who doesn't? So when a barbecue disaster struck at his daughter's ninth birthday in 1997, Richard took it hard. We've all been there. It was a beautiful sunny day and Richard had invited his friends and family over to celebrate. He'd been diligently grilling a chicken, but when it came time to eat the juicy poultry, it tasted like he'd used lighter fluid for the marinade. Totally bummed, he did what anyone would do and threw the chicken in the trash can and ordered a pizza. As soon as the party was over, he began searching the internet for a product that would get rid of the need for lighter fluids and found precisely nothing. Knowing that lighting fuel required two elements, heat and oxygen, Richard got experimental. Without a thought for safety, he poured charcoal into his toaster and turned the airflow around with his old vacuum cleaner. And voila, sparks flew in seconds. Probably burnt the house down. He had discovered the fastest and cleanest way to light charcoal, and the most dangerous. A few years and a lot of hard work later, Richard stood looking out over Stockholm Harbour with a container filled with 5,000 pieces of his invention ready to share with the world. And it's now available all over the world and in my back garden too. Okay, so something's not right. Press and hold the on off button for three seconds until burn and boost functions shine white. Your loof lighter is now activated, burn mode and boost mode. Start your grill by touching the charcoal with the tip of the loof lighter and burn mode. So, what have I done? Let's try again, two minutes. Come on loof, you can do it. See a few sparks. So in a minute, it's going to go over to boost mode, AKA beast mode. It's definitely glowing. Look, you can see it glowing down there. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Luft. It's happening now. Oh, look, smoke. Oh. Oh my word. Oh, wow. Then I think it's supposed to pull back. Hooey. So what's happening now is that the I think the heat has gone off and I think it's kind of just, this is just a glorified hairdryer now. And I think it's just a case of giving it some now. There, so I've just sort of built that up a little bit. So you know all those times you're huffing and puffing and panting and you've got a bit of cardboard out and you're flapping and waving it and things like that. 
Not anymore. Not with this. Very impressive. I can see. I can see why it's going to be a lot faster. It's very gadgety. It's definitely geared up for someone who loves a gadget. Okay, so that has been five minutes now. Let's just sort of take this off. Wow, I mean, it's definitely going. I suppose to a degree, you could um, you could have this on for as long as you want, you know, to, to really get it going. But there is no doubt about it that that is, that is going, that is good to go. Wow. So what are your thoughts? Is it, um, is it a bit gimmicky? Is it a bit um, gadgety? Is it a bit costly? It's, I think it's 300 euros for this thing. Um, love to know if you're using one. Uh, have I done it right? Should I change anything? Um, or should I stick to the, the fire lighters? Before I go, can I ask you to hit the uh, subscribe button and give the video one of those? And also have a little look at the memberships uh, if you want to help out financially on the channel, that would be amazing. I've had a lot of fun using it. It seems like a solid bit of kit. Um, the battery is meant to last uh, for multiple times. Um, and I suppose if you're in a rush, if you're um, looking for speed, then clearly, clearly this is, um, this is going to work. So um, yeah, I'll see you soon for the next video.